Welcome to my hizzy. I don't know if you've noticed, but I got a new helmet. <sighs> Can you see? I'm fucking trying to talk. Jesus Christ. Anyway, my Assaultron helmet is bad as fuck. When I pull out my gun, it closes. And I'm safe. I wished I could show you it, but I can't because of the angles. But that's fine. Anyway, we made a few changes. Oh, Kate. Yep, I got to mention her lovely new outfit. I can't remember where I got that from. Uh, I don't know if it was like one of the disciples or something. But anyway, let's let's see the, the few changes I made. And I just want to say I actually Fallout. did start Fallout. watching some YouTube videos on these master fucking builders. And goddamn... Do they do a wonderful job, but I'm using PS4 with no mods. I have no way to make things static. Look at these books, for example. I had them all nice and stacked. I was putting the last one on and fucking just went a little too much with the little uh, thumb toggle, and they all went tumbling. I'm like, fuck it. I'm leaving them like that. I don't give a shit. It's so frustrating. It's been so long with this controller trying to make things look nice. I have all my hollow tapes in here because I'm sick of sifting through a million things. I only have a few complaints about this game. Only a few. It's pretty much completely amazing. My complaint is the inventory menus. I wish they would separate things like keys, hollow tapes, you know, your magazines and stuff. Because it's just too much to sift through. And I've had a lot of stuff disappear recently. Um, for example, every fucking mod I ever did, I don't know where they went. I put them all in this thing, then they're gone. I only have the recent ones I've done now. I don't know why, because I was actually considering selling them. But they're gone. I had my DB Tech jacket disappear. Um, that's the last video I made, I was wearing it and luckily I went back to the high school and it was there and I was able to get it again I didn't lose the mascot head because the mascot head used to be on top of this locker actually I don't know if I had this locker when I made the video though but yeah I still have the head in fact I think it's in that locker now um, I added giant anal beads here some posters these came with the uh, 88 vault 88 expansion I just moved a couple little things this is all pretty much the same other than I added some more posters try to make it look a little scummier Boom. and I just did this right before I started recording put the exit sign on my picture point to the ladder which leads you up to the giant airstream on the roof and I just fucking love it I think it's sweet Oh, I moved the TV too because I'm like, you know what? If this was real and I lived here and I had a chair up here and a TV up here, I'd probably have the TV right in front of me. And then I could look at it, look at Kate sleeping. Look at the TV, look at Kate sleeping. Alright, so let's go down here. Oh, and the only thing I really seen that someone had done that I did, which it's not really that ingenious, but this arrow here. I was watching a video from years ago, actually, and I was like, holy shit! I guess we think alike. It's not that mind-blowing of an idea, but I just thought that was cool. Because other than that, I haven't... Oh, and I did see a guy put this picture in this exact same spot, too. I thought that was crazy. Um, this helmet's pretty sweet, too, but the one time I tried to put it on, it wouldn't let me wear my Minuteman um, armor. So I was like, fuck it, I just put it up there. And the iBot helmets and all these little models. I don't know how many I'm going to end up coming up with. I thought there's only supposed to be eight, but I've already got way more than that. I think I have some in my inventory, too, I haven't put up yet. But this sign here, I just had access to this recently. Today, I completed some little quest, and all of a sudden, it's like every time you complete something, it adds more inventory to your decor options so um, but this is new from the last video did this little 
weapons work area and armor work area and I actually had this down there all the way at the end and when we teleported back like yesterday or two days ago Kate was stuck right in the middle of the table somehow flailing around trying to get out everything fell off the fucking shelves it pissed me off I wish Bethesda would give you the option to make things static just when you're in your work mode when you got the workshop open and you're doing shit they should let you hit a certain button and give you that option and just cement that shit in that would be awesome um, I removed a display case for my power armor put it in spectacle island with my 20 some other armors um, it was Kate's pink one um, just because I wanted to keep these all against the wall give me more space here when I had all four together I had them out a good if, if it was in real specs it'd probably be at least a foot and a half on, on the one end more at the angle um, I just acquired this guy too not too long ago uh, so this is new I wanted to make it more practical this area here I used to have a display case with just some like helmets and I was calling it the satanic corner because I had like that looked evil and I had a little goat head mannequin and shit but this now makes me feel more like the Punisher I uh, got all this shit out here and looks awesome and now I'm regretting selling a lot of weapons in the past that had legendary perks um, this guy I used to have this in real life minus the shovel stock uh, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure this when when it's on the workbench and you're modifying it it looks to me like uh, dragging off roll Mac 3 sniper rifle which is a 7.62 by 54 which is what this uses and it looks identical to the one I have in my opinion I mean I might be misremembering a little bit but I think it's based on that and I wish I would have kept it because it's a fantastic rifle and in fact I bought it back in like 1997 or 98 when Bill Clinton put a ban on assault rifles I had two weeks before it took effect and there was a gun shop in Ypsilanti Michigan that had these brand new for um, shit I think it was like two hundred and eighteen dollars I paid out the door for a brand new sniper rifle and it, it was it, it was fucking badass and uh, now that now you're not gonna find one for less than maybe twelve hundred thirteen hundred bucks even used uh, guns really go up in value so if you ever acquire any you might as well just hang on to them if they're handgun, throw them in a little safe. If they're a rifle, just pack them away. Make sure you don't have the moisture and shit, though, because that'll fuck a gun up quick. Uh, these shelves here, these are my nuka nukes. I just put them up there a little bit ago. Uh, I used to have a lot of lights in here. Even though they were colored and dimly lit, I still felt I had too many lights. And so I took them all down. I only have two now. And that's just so I can see these guns a little better. Um, I wanted to keep it a little dark, a little Blade Runner looking, and just rely on the things that are lit. No real light bulbs. You know, I have a few here and there, but um, this is something new I just did today, too. These kind of glitched into the Edotronic and then the door here so you can't see the brackets that would hold up the shelves and I'm like that's fucking awesome I did the one I put the the nukas on there and then I'm like I wonder if I can do another and it let me and I'm like fuck yeah it looks like it was meant to be so this is a fantastic idea if any of you guys are looking I know I'm I'm tooting my own horn here. I know I think my shit don't stink. I love this, but I know I have seen other videos where people just spend months building shit, but I can't do that. Um, I'm not going to. Um, they are definitely artists, but they have, you know, like I said, they can make shit static. They can take a comic book and stick it to the fucking wall. Like, how cool is that? Why can't I do that? So, naturally, they have... So, this is basically no mods. 
and PS4 and as vanilla build as you can get and it can still look this sweet so that was the whole point of this um, I have watched a lot of videos too where people's fucking builds look like dog shit so I don't know everyone has their own flavor and I love mine and I like building on thing, making my own things like doesn't this look like it should have been there all along you know but that's just stacking two signs on top of each other just little simple things like that make me happy I'm easy to please so anyway that's about it and maybe you'll want to use some of these ideas if not at home plate at some other part of your settlement um, I was considering building home plate on Spectacle Island where I already have like a nice little beachfront area with stores and a warehouse and uh, an arcade I built and I was debating on if I'll be able to kind of make a pretty true to spec um, home plate but I don't think it'll happen because all these walls are crooked and the elevations are all different and there's you know nothing's nothing square in here so it'll be challenging I might do it if I get time but I'll probably be going back to work soon so I doubt I'll have time but if I do I'll definitely post a video because I don't think anyone's done that yet so I uh, hope you guys stay safe take care um, I'd appreciate a comment or two I know there's I know this is old news I know I'm an old guy and I know that I'm not telling you anything you probably don't know um, but I do like interaction and ideas if you have ideas that can make my shit better or more efficient or if you just like something I did I'd like uh, hey that was cool that, you know that would make me feel good so anyway talk to you later see you soon stay safe and crawl out from the fallout baby <laughs> <laughs>